Hello everyone and welcome to this new video I'm Ombra and today I'm gonna show you my commander guide for Glasha. Glasha is a commander of the Evil Faction whose main role is support, particularly strong versus who wanna deal damage with basic attack. This commander is not super strong at high level, but is okay at free to play, you can use it as tank and support. Talking about the skill at respect 5, you're gonna have 22 points to a senior skill. Start placing 10 points on messenger, a skill that reduces the basic attack damage by 50% for 5 rounds, and this effect also increases the efficiency with the focus. This this skill is the main reason cause Glacia is very strong versus physical damage dealer that pays the attack on the normal attack. Then you want to place 5 points on assassin, a skill that inflicts 75% poison damage and also inflicts 75% poison damage on the 2 round after that. But the real reason cause you want that skill at level 5 is cause you gain the possibility on round 3, 6 and 9 to inflict madness on the targeted by that skill, 25% chance. For last you want to place 7 points of crab and Mount Fang, a skill that reduces the attack of 3 enemy formation by 14 for the first 4 rounds, that is ok for reducing the damage in the early game, it's not an insane skill but it's still something. At respect 5 basically you have already all you need from Glacia, you can increase a bit the Kraben on Mount Fang increasing the respect but you have already the solid starting kit. At respect 10 you're gonna have 4 more points to assign on a Glacia skill, you're gonna place 3 on the Kraben on Mount Fang for increase the attack reduction to 20 and also have plus 5 initiative for your commander, then you're gonna place the remaining point on assassin just to increase the damage to 90%. In my opinion invest more than respect 10 on Glacia is completely useless, when you got the ascension you already have all you can desire, all the points you have more than that are almost useless, don't give you a lot of benefit. At maximum level you're gonna have 7 more points to assign on a Glacia skill, you're gonna place 4 on assassin to reach 150% poison damage and also increase by 5% the damage dealt by the poison and you're gonna finish the build with 3 points on the white end, a skill that increases the attack and the defense of Yurukai by 6.6% but diminishing the healing received by 15%. This skill is almost useless cause you don't gonna use Yurukai on Glacia in the 90% of the case. Talking about the equipment, we know Glacia is a support that have focus and initiative scale on his skill but we don't care about that on Glacia, we need the command and troop defense. Talking about weapon, we want the Reckoning which provides 140 of command and 45 of unit defense, as alternative you can think to run the Lang which provides 200 of command and 27 of unit defense. At epic level what I suggest is the Catalyst which provides 130 of command and 15 of unit defense. On the chest slot the only legendary I suggest is the Durin's Plate which provides 36 of unit defense, that cause the high health Hauberk is not available for orcs. If you didn't have the legendary I suggest you to run the epic, the Superior Auberg provide 18 of unit defense that is a great choice. Talking about the helmet, the best in slot is the Casque of Submergent Isle which provide 130 of command and 48 of unit defense, as alternative you can run the Arad Casque which provide 120 of command and 42 of unit defense, they are two solid choice and at epic level what I suggest is the Horseman Helmet which provides 70 of command and 18 of unit defense. For the accessory we cannot dress the Arp cause it's locked for the Orcs so we gonna dress the Carver Dragon Tooth which provide 120 of command and 27 on unit defense, and if you didn't have that I suggest you to go for the epic Drums of Moria that provides 70 of command and 18 of unit defense. Talking about the set effect, in my opinion evasive action is the best bonus for Glacia cause provide 20% damage reduction in the early game and if you run them as support tank you won't reduce the damage you tank on the early game. As alternative you can think to run Fortitude which provide 10% damage reduction, physical damage reduction for all the battle, is a solid bonus for a tank but is not the best, evasive action is better. And as last option you can think to run Divide and Conquest for have 2% damage reduction each round that stack to a maximum of 20%. It's a late game bonus, it's strong but it's not the best, it's the third option. Now talking about the unique, the Relic of Glacia is Mystic Touch. If we talk about the statistic it provides command, focus, initiative and unit defense, all bonus that Glacia need but 
but don't want for real commit on a unique for a Glasha. Because in my opinion, if you play Glasha, you are free to play or you play them in a secondary team. So maybe it's not the best invest a lot on a commander that is not your primary team. So in my opinion, it's better preserve your item for upgrade your item than upgrade this stuff. Even if you consider Mysterious Ritual provide 3% poison damage dealt to Glasha every time an ally deals poison damage and this effect stuck 10 times is 30% damage but Glasha don't have any poison damage, just one skill that deal nothing or almost nothing. So potential is a great effect but not on Glasha that don't have damage. So also for this reason in 99% of the case is not worth even unlock that. Talking about unit, Glasha want unit with protection or taunt and also want very tank unit. The best choice is use the great beast because they have a lot of HP, a good defense is also a skill that force the enemy to attack them. And getting focus is exactly what Glasha want. As alternative you can think to run the mountain troll, a unit with a lot of HP and also a better defense than the great beast and damage reduction, with a skill that provoke the enemy to attack them in the first 3 rounds with normal attack. As last option if you play an RP you can think to run a medium unit called Swan Knight that have a skill that protect two allied that grant them to take damage instead of two allied and protect the formation in the first two round. In general Glasha perform better if you have a tank unit like that cause gain more utility than just the buff. The commander I suggest to play with Glasha are first Sauron cause the combination of madness can be deadly for the enemy and also the statistic reduction of Sauron and Glasha together can nerf a lot the damage of the enemy commanders in particular physical damage dealer. Then the witch king cause together can drastically reduce the statistic of the enemy reducing the damage and also the combination of madness and stun of these two commander can broke completely the cycle of the skill of the enemy. The worst commander to fight with Glasha are for sure Galadriel and Sestaro cause they didn't have physical damage, they didn't have even normal attack so almost 99% of the kit of Glasha are completely wasted. So in conclusion Glasha is a commander that you can use at free to play level for sure as a tank and as a main support. At high level I don't suggest you of course to run Glasha cause you don't gonna be competitive. You can run it on second formation or third formation and you're gonna have a decent result. Yes of course it's not fantastic but the evil faction don't have shiny commander in this role. For me the best way for run them is respect 5 and purple gear max that you're gonna have a solid result with just a little investment. I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it just smash like on that and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let me know in the comment what you think about this build and what commander you're gonna see in the future. I wanna remember you have an affiliated link with the game that allow you to buy gems from the official site of the game and if you choose to use my link the devs gonna recognize me a little commission of what you spend and you're gonna support directly my channel and my work. You're gonna find the link in the description of the video and also in the first comment. Again thank you for following me and see you in the next. Woo!